look, we're going to talk about the college football playoff and some college football stuff in a second. We kind of want to do that. But sometimes you wind up in a situation where everybody kind of know what's going on and somebody got to be the one to say it. And for those of you, if you hadn't had an opportunity to see this, this is from New Year's Day. It is ESPN has a television show called College Game Day. It is a mainstay of things. And they had a moment that is very similar to what we just kind of went through here. And by the way, Joel, I did not plan it like this. It just worked out this way where we just figured out the smooth segue. And sometimes all I'm saying is when people know what's going on, but you ain't saying what's going on, sometimes somebody got to say what's going on. And I want to (laughs) watch as Reese Davis wound up in that situation. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not O'Brien, what I thought. Is that not what you thought? Boy, let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Of course. The professional's right in the middle of his lead. That's all right. I just keep I thought going. you almost lost me. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. It got real tight up here as you were. I just want to let you know. you were too smooth with that. I thought it was going down. I thought it was going down out here. (laughs) What do you think Joey meant when he said, I thought it was going down, though? I don't think Joey knew what to say. He just knew that he thought something was about to happen. I don't know if he had an appropriate description, but it... I thought it was about to go down encompasses enough of what might have happened there that you really can't go wrong with. I thought it was going down. Now, my favorite part of this, again, it's L-A-N-K, which stands for let a naysayer know. And if you go back, go back. Sean, I want you to run this one more (laughs) time, and I'm going to tell you when to stop. But I want you to watch, listen, because everybody's been raising this question as to whether or not Reese Davis knew what was going on or knew what he was doing. <laughs> but I feel like he held that mm in naysayer for a minute. Like he syncopated that shit. Play that. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for let a naysayer know. Stop that. Stop that. I don't know. Maybe I imagined it. But I felt like he hit that. He hit the end hard like he that's like he that's the one right like like when he got on the one on that end let a naysayer know but i gotta remember i gotta say it right also like i just when he said oh is that not what it says <laughs> is that is that not what it is <laughs> that's is that that, that's is the that? best part <laughs> did you think it meant something else <laughs> but did you people have been out here like when do you think reese knew what was going on the second pat mcafee said something Everybody knew what was going on. Y'all think these white people don't be paying attention. And I'm here to tell you that they do. But Bo, Bo I'm, you know what? Everybody, I'm going to, so there was somebody in your mentions yesterday when you tweeted this out that managed to have a view of the camera isolated on Herb Street. Or Kirk, I don't think Kirk knew. Now, you're going to have to watch that video and go back into your mentions. Look, Matt, he does not, He he's, he's laughing, right? Because he knows something funny has happened. But I think he thought it was because Pat interrupted Reese, not because of what they were talking about. And I look, I don't, I know Herb Street's probably been in a lot of different rooms. He's probably heard Nate say a time dude, or two, and I'm not dude, trying to say anything dude, to impugn dude, him or anything, dude. but. This, this, all, this all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> all the white people that was retweeting that, they got the joke. Okay, every single one of them got the joke and, by the way, have tried to make awkward attempts to also participate in the joke. And I'm just here to tell you, sometimes you're like, sometimes it's like a restaurant. You ain't got to do nothing. Just sit your ass down and eat. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, you don't need to be coming in the back. No, we don't need no help with nothing. You ain't got to wash no dishes. Stay away from the pots. Just sit there and eat before you fuck around and burn yourself. Okay, just just stay right over there where you are. But I don't know why. Look, man, these dudes done spend a lot of time, like Kirk Herbstreet, not as much. They've been around enough black people to where they know what we be doing. They know what we be talking about. And I'm telling you, look, look, you, t- you telling me you think Reese Davis, let me tell you this, you think Reese Davis didn't know? Reese Davis is like, you thought it meant something else? He knew what time it was. How Pat McAfee know what time it is? But you go, we just assuming these other cats don't. So Pat McAfee played in West Virginia. Like Pat White and Steve Slayton there in West Virginia. So I feel like he played with a lot of naysayers. You know what I'm saying? So he, like, <laughs> that, you almost got me. You almost you know, got yeah. me. You almost got me. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I felt, Kirk Herbstreit I mean, went to you, Ohio State. It, I, but you man, it was Ohio State at a different time in a dip. Like, Fair. When, Fair. you know what I'm saying? I feel like they he played just, in a locker room where it was less likely that he would have had to socialize. Okay, I hear. I hear what team. you're. I hear what you're saying. I'm going to tell you a story that somebody I know and care about deeply knows. I'm not going to identify the person. The person will be listening. I'm not going to identify them because I don't know if that person wants to be identified. But this person had, I guess the term we use now is administrative assistant, but at the time we called them secretaries. This person had a secretary uh, who was a white woman. Um, and it's like an HBCU, right? Like, like if you've been around a state HBCU, you know the white people who work there, and they just white people. They ain't in there with slanty haircuts and bamboo earrings. Nah, man, they just white people who got a job at one of the biggest hirers in the area right sometimes you gotta swallow your pride i don't know i like the lady a lot just want to be clear so anyway uh the person was explaining to the white lady as the they were attempting to in a way make something out of nothing in order to make something work using non-traditional means oh, oh no oh I right know like a, a, a sort of a a, a lay person's engineering if you will um, I have heard the phrase Afro engineering in reference to this, which I thought was pretty clever. Okay. That's, that's and so, really, yeah, I didn't think there was another option that would be suitable under this circumstances. Yes, nor yeah. I, nor I, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. And All so right. as this person and the white woman were working this out, the person says to the white woman, you know, that we have a phrase that we use to describe something like this. And the white woman's response was, oh, yeah, I know. We use it, too. Now, I'm just saying this to, again, let y'all know these white people are way more up on game. Who you think started it? Who you think who who you think was the first person to say naysayer? Who you think came up with naysayer? You what well, y'all think we y'all y'all think we took naysayer back? We've been naysayers forever over there. We learned it from them. We learned it from watching them. Prize Picks is the most fun you can have by winning up to 25 times your money this football season. And now you can play during basketball season too. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. And with the NBA back, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball from the Specials League a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. Prize picks is really simple to play. You can make your picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. And if you stick around for the end of the show, you'll get to hear some picks from producer Sean that can either help you win or make you fail miserably. So make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash Bomani and use code Bomani for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Bomani. Prize picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. 